Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going and welcome back to another episode of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys it is time to bring a classic to the battlefield with new weapon systems. I'm gonna combine the good old Catapult C1 with Thunderbolt Missile 15 today. That's the plan and uh, yeah this is the thing that we are running today. We got two Thunderbolt 15s, we got uh, three ER small lasers, we have a tag to actually get rid of the enemy's ECM at range and as you can see we are running an XL engine 280 to have a decent amount of speed of 69 nice 0.8 kph as well as four jump jets for some elevation and i really want the high mobility like the vertical mobility that the catapult brings here as well as something else that i will talk about in a second in general um i feel like the thunderbolt 15s or the thunderbolts in general they need a little bit of tweaking to be honest i feel like they are lacking a bit of firepower a little bit of dps because for the weight for the cost of a Thunderbolt 15, you could also get an LRM20 Artemis, and uh, I think it's not a good trade-off there. But I wanted to try to make this thing happen anyways. Now, if you ask what is the interesting thing about the Thunderbolt, it is a medium-range weapon. It only has a range of 690 meters, 630 meters actually, maximum range. Um, at the same time, as you can see, uh, the minimum range of like 0 to 180, you will still deal half the damage of the weapon. So there is an actual like point blank self defense mechanism in it. It's a medium range thing and it has a flat arc that you can fire through obstacles if you have the mobility to go with it. And um, by the way, each Thunderbolt um, fires one projectile per five rating so we have a thunderbolt 5 that fires one thunderbolt missile dealing five damage a thunderbolt 10 fires two of those dealing five damage each a thunderbolt 15 fires three of these projectiles dealing five damage each so it's a little bit scattery it's not that one single big pinpoint damage that you can throw around it's um mm, also a little bit awkward on that end i gotta say Anyways, we're gonna try to make this good here by using our catapult because the catapult C1, uh, while only having two missile hardpoints, it has a little bit of uh, quirks um, bonuses to go with it. As you can see, we got a missile cooldown bonus of 30%, so our thunderbolts fire way faster than normal. We got missile velocity of 10%, which is helpful. We don't care about the 10% laser duration, but the range bonus is nice, and we have a bit of structure and armor. But what we also got is a 100 meter extra sensor range and an extra consumable slot and UAV capacity. So we basically have one UAV for free on this mech. It's really good. For all of you uh, guys saying that I shouldn't ever run an XL engine on an NSV heavy mech, this is a mid-ranger, I want to be in the team fight. I can fire indirectly, I can sit in cover, I can be safe in the flank, so I feel like I need that to actually have the weight to put more alpha strike damage and firepower on the mech and have the ammo to sustain all of that. This is my verdict. If you want to go light engine, you can do it, but this is how I'm going to do it. So, skills here, we're going to take a look at those as well. As you can see, we maxed out cooldown so we can fire as often as possible and some heat gen to go with it so that we can actually sustain ourselves. I have a bit of extra range because, again, the maximum range is 630 meters, bumped by 10% from our skill. Uh, sorry, Quirk, and these skill nodes here, which makes it so that we can fire at a decent range, especially in the second game when there's lots of open terrain, you want that. Velocity, obviously, so that the enemies have less time to dodge when the missile warning is coming, and then obviously missile rack, missile spread, and high explosive. And you might be like, wait, you only fired three missiles per launcher. Missile spread is not going to be that impactful. You're right. It was just something that I felt I wanted. We have skeletal density and armor hardening as well as hill climb, which uh, in hindsight, why am I using hill climb? <laughs> I have jump jets. You should put these into definitely more range. Absolutely. Just like that. Uh, but we got target decay, so our missiles have a longer tracking time. We got a bit of radar deprivation as well as one extra UAV and two cool shots here. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, guys. First game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City Classic Night. We are playing Conquest. Let's see what we can do with our beautiful, beautiful Thunder Thunderbolt missiles. Uh, we check them out. So two Thunderbolt 15 ready, one on each arm. I think we're gonna get Kappa first before we go anywhere. Uh, it's Wobby Wop. Okay. 
Uh, and yeah, uh, we need some teammates, I think, because alone we wouldn't be able to get our locks and also deal damage, because it takes a bit of time until we can actually shoot, and uh, by that time we would probably get attacked back a lot. So we want a team fight and support the team with damage and, you know, raining deaths from above. We have a uh, 750 meters range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. Let's go and see what we can do. Uh, maybe the wolf hunt is scouting a little bit. We have an awesome pretty baby as well. When we find an enemy... Holy crap. We probably want to instantly attack this guy. Right? Annihilator. Pew. Try again. They have some AMS. Oh, there are people there on the left side. Mm, yeah, they have a good chunk of AMS there. Okay, I'm out of jump juice. It's not a UAV. I'm always confusing the moon for a UAV. Always, always. Saddle push is going on. Let's go. Moving with the team is crucial in that instance. The Marla. He's behind cover. Uh, but maybe our missiles can hit from above a little bit? Uh, okay. So people are getting Epsilon, but I think what's more important is to get the enemies. Where did the guy go? Oh, they already are in the city. They are fighting and firing. Uh, maybe I can hit Bravo. Okay, Foxtrot it is. Whatever that is. A Mad Cat. Eat my Thunderbolts! I know, there's a guy right here, but locking takes time. And time I don't really have right now. So, let's go. Keep raining death upon the Mad Cat. And now we go for whatever that is in front of us. I think I can take a bit of damage for the team as well. So we go aggressive. On the Stalker, we component destroyed his component. That's how you say it, by the way. And yeah, we need that amount of range to be effective. Uh, it's not gonna work, right? No. So, switch target behind now. It's Charlie 3. Uh, Blackjack. Not an optimal target. Timby. Come on, give me the Timber Wolf. I can! They are stealthed. Um, Vapor Eagle is fine-ish, but I need to think about my positioning right now more than anything. That's the Mad Cat. On the cat. We have the high ground, baby. It's over. Cat is still alive. All oh, right. Vapor Eagle. Couldn't get the kill. But the Mad Cat is a perfect target for us. Is it, though? We really want to shoot from above. We can't. We are going for the Mauler, then. All right. God, I love the sound of this. It's fantastic. On the Mauler. Potential kill? No. So, uh, I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. Now we go for the Annihilator. Hey, Annie. So we only deal half damage here. But it's still... It's still damage. Cool shot. Okay. Took that component as well. And we even got the kill. Now it's time to turn around. This is the perfect situation for my catapult. And I love my jump capabilities here as well. Supernova coming in. Uh, small lasers for the win. I am overridden, so that's good. And another one. Scale shot. Here we go. What an aggressive fight, man. Again. Again. And again. Oh, override. <laughs> I cannot stop doing it. Um, I think we won. Okay, let's get the high ground. Not high enough. Now. I think these guys are really good for... Yeah, not happening. For hunting down light max? Question mark? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I cannot get the lock. Come on, we're gonna intercept this guy. Ah, so close, so close. That was fun. That was really fun. I think as soon as we have Epsilon, we win? No, we need to get another one. Super aggressive, we could be in the fight all the time, and because of that, I was actually running into a bit of heat problems. Normally, I would, uh, in, in a more relaxed fight, I would take my time to cool down in between, so this was a high-stress situation that you saw here, riding the heat scale like a boss. But we made it. And we even got a kill, I think, right? One? Two? We'll see. Let's take it. Uh, let's take it, yeah, let's take a look at what we did. I believe we did 500, yeah, 500 damage. The fight was over so quickly, 
that stacking damage wasn't really possible. But anyways, we had one killing blow with even a kill most damage dealt and eight assists. And compared to my team, yeah, I was in the middle of the field. Um, who got the most here? The Wolfhound and the Highlander? Not bad, guys. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys. Second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold, which is not true because we are playing Grim Plexus. <laughs> it's a black map. I mean, what can I say? Alright, let's go in and see what we can do. We're playing Domination, so everybody will be forced into the circle, which is good. That is a, that is a position that we want to be in. Short range but not too short because, you know, the minimum distance and the half damage situation, we try to avoid it. But hey, we can at the very least deal minimum or half damage at minimum range. That was weird. Did you see that or was it just in my monitor? Okay. Uh, anyways, we have an Urby scouting for us. We have an Ice Ferret scouting for us. I like it. That's really good. We have a good chunk of Assault Max. There's a Fafnir. We got a Thanatos. Ooh, Thanatos with some ECM. I don't mind if I do take your ECM so that I can secretly tag the enemy. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see where this is going. So enemies obviously coming from the other side. So right here. They are all in goal of eight. And uh, we might get something done early depending on where we can set up. Ow. Light Mag. Light Mac! Ah, this guy has a million points of rated operation, so it, it, there is no no need, no help. It It's not good. Right? Targeting the flea? Unless he's coming in again. Oh, get wrecked, buddy. Flea dropped a UAV in our Fox 7 area. Uh, thank you for our UAV. I don't know if I can hit the Battle Master, but I will certainly try. No, not like this. Not like this. Alright, so we probed our... We probed our firing lines. Uh, UAV, by the way, in Fox 7, Fox 8. Can I take it? It takes a while. There we go. So, we got that thing down. 600 meters, Timberwolf. Hell yeah. Can we get the angle of the dangle here? Oh, it's a trade. It is a trade, but we won that trade. Definitely. This guy has no radar. Though. Another UAV up. Uh, UAV, Fox 7. Um, 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 I'm gonna not drop mine yet. Um, uh, I'm gonna dump fire. Eh, yeah, we didn't hit anything. So, where to go from here? We like the flea. Oh, he was too early! A split second too early! Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. I wanna get out of here. Now! What are you firing at? Oh, these guys, huh? Corsair. Oh, wait. It's a 5T. Uh, couldn't hit him properly. 700 meters is hittable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's, who's here? Who's that? Uh, we got problems. I, uh, I regret my decision. Wanted to get some damage out there. On the Warhammer, then. Warning, incoming missile. It's not good. I'm investing too much of my armor into getting some hits in. This is a very static firing line, which is the opposite of what I want. Okay, on the Warhammer again. Okay. If he backs up, he's gonna dodge the missiles. Ah, got some damage in though. Let's give it another one. We got his leg. Oh, he cannot go anymore. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, to the other side of the battlefield we go. I, I think we cannot really force anything on that side. Don't My team is acquired. rather slow paced. Um, ah, the Warhammer slightly out of range though. I need to go around. Let me try something acquired. here. Maybe we can get another hit on the Warhammer. There he is. He is in range. I'm gonna give him some hell. He cannot really dodge it. Hmm, he can. He can, he can, he can. Super slow game. Interesting. I think I might run out of ammo because I'm trying so many hits. Okay. Trying so many shots. New target. It's okay. 300 meters battle master. That's the target for us. I'll take it. If we can find him. Oh, they got a dire wolf set up there in the back line. They have snipers. Snipey snipers. But he cannot overwatch the low ground. Let me, let me move. Let me move. 
Yeah, we have a push going. I love it. I love it. Okay. Here's the battle master. Where did he go? There's a guy. Found him. Ah, only one shot. Broke the lock. Corsair, though. I mean, we're coming from multiple sides now. The ice ferret is a good battle buddy. He's dead. Okay. There's a guy. There's my guy. Hey, Hellfire. Goodbye. Come on. Come on. All right, we got him in the end. So, I think this is where we're gonna overrun them, right? Madcat. He's jammed. Mostly. So, we can take that damage. Yeah, it's fine. You cannot kill me. But we can kill you. Can you kill me? All right, we got him. We got him in the end. Um, four and three. This is not decided yet. Where's the dire wolf? I found a timber wolf. Okay. The good news is his ATMs deal no damage close range. My thunderbolts deal half damage close range. Nice, we got the kill. And that's the warhammer, correct? Uh, it used to be. The dire wolf went. I we are we were, we are missing the dire wolf big time here. All right. So eight and four. There was a dire wolf in Golf Nine a while ago. I, I lost him. There's a sniper somewhere. All right. Um, 700 meters on the warhammer. Okay, we found the D wolf. I think. Can we? I mean, we hit him. Uh, where where was the shot coming from? I shouldn't do it, by the way. I shouldn't hunt the guy. We we have it in the back, to be clear. We won it. Where did he go? Where did he go? How did he get out of here? Target destroyed. What? What what? There he is! Ah! The D Wolf! Tag him! Shoot him! Get him! Ha <laughs> ha! It's the last guy. Uh, we lost him? Okay. We're gonna keep him tagged so his ECM is disabled. Uh oh. Cool shot. Yeah. And. Kill steal! That was mine! <laughs> all right, so 42 Thunderbolts left. Uh, we didn't grind through all of our ammo, which is good. And I don't know how much damage we actually dealt here. What was it? Like 500? 777! Lucky number, baby! We got one killing blow with two kill most damage dealt. Three components destroyed. Honestly, I think it was the highest damage ever I dealt with Thunderbolt missiles. They are really hard to use. Um, but hey, this time, it totally worked out. Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Good old classic catapult with the new weapon system, the Thunderbolt 15. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.